Okay, so we're going to do the demo for the Business Texter application. It's an Android app that uh, can do enterprise level uh, texting. So you can see here we have text messaging, we have contacts manager, we have auto follow ups, auto responses, weekly messages, app statistics, and of course send feedback. So we're going to go ahead and open each one of these one at a time and show you what they do. So text messages. So you're going to send a blast, let's say, to, right here's a drop down that shows, you know, all the different contacts you have. So let's say we're going to send it to all. And we're going to pick from the pick menu, upgrade. And you can see we have this text message here saying, hey, we're going to upgrade this. And we would go ahead and hit send right here and it starts a countdown. When it gets to 10, it's going to start sending to that entire list. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop though. And you can see under that we have remove and save. That's for saving this text message that we sent or removing ones that we've saved in the past. So when you click on remove, it shows you a list. If you click on save, if it's already saved, it won't do anything. But if it was, it would say confirm. And then you can change your send rate. So you can increase faster or slower. And you can see we can go all the way up to 40,000 an hour. It can go faster than that, but we've uh, set it to 40,000 an hour. So that's the text messaging screen. Then we can do contacts manager screen. And here it shows you how many contacts are in each list. And you can see it scrolls through the different lists that, that we have in here. We can click in the box and add a type of phone number in manually. Um, let's say. And then when we click add, it will add the person or if it's already added then of course it won't. We could also pick uh, this will pick from the contacts list and so let's say we want to go ahead and pick myself so it adds the number here into the box and then you just click add that's how you would add it manually. Uh, the, another way you can add is you can click menu and then click import from CSV file so it will show you a list of all your files on your uh, phone if you sent um, a CSV file or some other spreadsheet to your Android phone and downloaded it, it should be in your downloads folder. So let's look for that real quick so I can show you. Looks like I'm having trouble even finding the downloads folder. Oh, here it is download, that's why. So here you can see, you know, it has a list of everything that I've ever downloaded onto this phone. I would just scroll through until I found the list and then click it and it would start uploading it immediately. Um, the upload process takes a long time. Um, it could take up to an hour depending on the size of your list. So if you have 100,000 contacts or 200,000 contacts, it might even be closer to two hours because not only does it upload them, it also uh, scrubs for duplicates and weeds out you know, ones that are misformatted and stuff like that. And so then you can see under here, you can see we have SD backup. So when you click that, it backs up your, your list to the SD card. Let's say you lost your, your phone or, or some kind of problem happened where you were able to salvage your SD card. You put it into a new phone. You upload this app and you click this restore button right here. And then again, you would go find the file um, that it's in. It's usually a small biz texting right here. And then you would go and... Uh, open the backup data folder and then check this box backed up contacts right there and it will uh, restore all your contacts your auto responses your preferences everything like that so that's a really handy feature so then we have the auto follow-ups this is really cool so you can do time follow-ups and scheduled follow-ups um, time follow-ups is like um, let's show you so 24 hours after a person enters into one of your lists send them this message Right, so you would just type whatever right here, and when you activate it, it will start sending it. But we're not going to do that. So you can send out all the way to 180 days, and this is really good for like sending thank you messages, um, messages to get them to come back in the store. Hey, show this this uh, text message and get a discount. It could be all types of stuff. But anyways, it'll schedule out each contact on their own sequence out to 180 days, which is really cool. Then you can do scheduled follow-ups. So let's say we wanted to um, schedule this text message, and we want to send it to either a, we can send it. We can pick a date here, 
So that would be today's date. And we pick a time. So it starts right now, but I could set it for any time. So let's let's set it one minute into the future. And let's set contact. Um, we're going to send it to ourself so we can see if it actually comes through. There we go. And so we could set group right here, but we're not going to. We're just going to leave it like this. That way, when while we're doing this, we'll see that text message come through. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button so you saw timed follow-ups and scheduled follow-ups. And then we have auto responses, which is really important. So we have three main ones, new contacts, responded once, responded twice. Um, these are really important to know, you know, which people have went back and forth with you um, through texting the most without opting out. So the show button allows us to look at and see what what we're looking for. So this first section of the of the box right here is keywords that we want um, to be embedded into the incoming message for them to be accepted. So we can see here we have free app license. So we have a if they come in and they have that that text message that that phrase in their text message, it will add them to the new contacts list. But if I had this left blank, um, then it would add everybody who text messaged this phone. So that's important to know that. So if you if you have a phone that you use for your personal contacts and your regular contacts, um, you're going to want to have a, a opt-in keyword is what this is word this is used for. And you can actually have as many as you want, a comma separated list. So you could have um, free, comma, um, pro. Let's just pretend we're just making up stuff here. And I could go on and on. And so if it carried any of those keywords, it would opt them into this list and then automatically send them this auto response. So that's that's super important. So let's go ahead and turn that part off. And then you can see, okay, we have, if they've text messaged twice, we can set set something a third time. Wow, you're on a roll. This is your third time texting in. We love people like you. So you could set something fun like that. And then you can set actual keyword-based responses. So here we have who. Um, so let's go ahead and click show. Um, so I have the word who. So anybody who texts in who, this particular auto response will get sent to them. And we can move this, see this move up and move down button. We can move these up or down in priority. So let's click move down. And you can see pro license moved up and who moved down. So let's move it back up. You can see now who's above pro license. So you can set these in order. And it's important that you set them in order because whichever one triggers first, that's the one um, that fires off and then it doesn't check the rest of them. So you always want to make sure that you have the most important ones first. And then as you go down, um, it goes in lesser and lesser priority. And remember, each time somebody triggers one of these things, it will add them to that list, a new marketing list that you can go after later. Let me show you how that that's done in a little while. So then there's weekly messages. This is really cool if you send reoccurring messages every week. Um, so let's say on Mondays, you know, we want to say uh, Monday uh, Mocha Day. And then we could type, you know, bring show this text message again, 50% off your next drink or whatever. And so you could send this pick what group you want to send this to. So maybe we had a list in here that was Mocha and we clicked Mocha and let's say it said Mocha right there. And every day everyone in our Mocha list would get that that special because we want to hook them up like that. So you can do that for each day of the week. Uh, what's really cool about this is it automatically sleeps during the night um, and keeps, kicks back on in the morning so you never have to worry about sending text messages at night. It, it uh, it has a smart timer on that. So then we have app statistics. So we can see we have 145,000 contacts here. Um, the rest of these numbers are kind of irrelevant for this particular app since I've reset the database so many times. But you can kind of get the point. We have 199 who's responded once, 39 who responded twice. We have 111,000 messages waiting to be sent. And then see these buttons down here, contacts. So groups. You can see your group statistics weekly. You can see if you have any weeklies waiting or, or people in your weekly list. Follow-ups, you can see we've sent 1,276 uh, to the group upgrade. 
So then we also have this button here, log. This actually gives you a an actual um, log of everything that's happened. So whether it's an auto response or you sent out a message, I mean it tracks everything. It stores everything on in text files on your phone so you can use them for later in case you have to like prove um, that you sent the messages out or whatever for whatever reason just for good old-fashioned um, tracking so then of course there's the send back feature which we hope you use a lot please you know type in whatever you want in here and let us know how we're doing with the app how it's working for you if there's any problems anything um, that you think you would like um, changed go ahead and uh, type that and then just click send and it will send us our server um, our system a text message with that information and we'll be um, taking those things into consideration on all the new uh, features we add to this so if you don't already have the pro version um, or the the enterprise version or even the the ultimate version we recommend you just go ahead and click the button at the bottom see where it says copyright business text or click that you know, add that that subscription into the cart, you know, check out, and then we'll have a, a procedure set up for you to get the upgrade to your app so you can send out, you know, you're probably going to want unlimited everything, and so that way you don't have any text fees. And that's one of the best things about this app is it rides on the carriers, so whether you have an unlimited texting plan with Verizon or Cricket or any of those things, um, T-Mobile doesn't let you go over 5000 a day, but... Uh, the rest of them are pretty good and you can like we sent over a thousand uh, messages last year just on this Verizon phone here so again we hope you like this demo and you use the app and make a lot of money thanks for watching and have a great day